A common question type in the IELTS reading test is yes, no, not given. It's similar to the true, false, not given task type and you should approach both these tasks in the same way. The main difference between them is that with true, false, not given, you compare information. Whereas with yes, no, not given, you compare views and opinions. So with this question type, you need to read a statement and then compare it to the writer's views given in the text. You then have to decide if the idea is the same as given in the text. That's yes. Does not agree with the text. That's no. Or if it's impossible to say what the writer thinks. That's not given. Let's look at an example of this task now. Always remember to check the instructions first. You're going to see if these statements reflect the claims of the writer in the reading passage. Once you decide on your answers, you're going to write yes, no or not given in the correct place on the answer sheet. Now look at the questions. You need to read the statement and then look for this information in the text. Let's try to do question one. So we're looking for the idea that the climate may affect the chance or risk humans have of catching diseases from animals. Let's try to remember those keywords when we read the text. So now let's try to find this idea in the reading passage. So following the introductory paragraph, we see a key word from the question, disease. I can't see the word climate, but I can see a phrase that might be related, tropical environments. So I now know that I'm in the right place to decide on my answer. So now we can go back to the question and compare it with the text in more detail. The statement says that the climate may affect humans' chances of catching diseases from animals. So we can say that the answer is yes, because this statement agrees with the view expressed by the writer. Note the paraphrase used here. Instead of talking about humans catching diseases carried by animals, the text uses the expression to jump the species barrier, which has the same meaning. So the answer is yes, because the statement agrees with the view expressed by the writer in the text. I'd just like to give you a few more tips about this format. Firstly, yes, no, not given questions test your understanding of the writer's views or opinions. So you shouldn't answer based on your own opinions about the topic. Next, as I mentioned earlier, answers to the questions will be found in order in the text. And there can only be one answer for each statement. So now that I've described how to do yes, no, not given questions to you, why don't you take some time to read over this summary? I should point out that this is one way to do this task which we think is effective, but it is not the only way. After that, I'm sure you're ready to do some practice to help you build some more skills around answering these questions.